Americans. And I'm Lizzie Carter. And I'm Sky Woman. And we're here to talk about education problems. And our motto is stop, drop it out, and enroll with education. Our big question is do you know how big of a problem education is right now? Not no kills, but nationally, in general. To start us off, we have a poll we need answered. Raise your hand if you think 5.4% of students don't graduate or don't graduate on time each year. 6.4%, 7.4%, 8.4%. If you choose 7.4%, then you are correct. Yes, 7.4% of students don't graduate on time each year. That may not seem like a lot of students, but if in the U.S. alone we have a, over a million students. That's a lot of non-graduates. Do you realize how big of a number this is? This is where our solutions come in. Our first problem we found out was that, was that kids just aren't entertained with their schoolwork. So this is what we came up with. Our idea was the e-trampoline. The e-trampoline lets you study while having fun on your trampoline. This is how it works. You come in at the entrance. The projector up at the top projects the question and the answer on the trampoline. You jump on the correct, the answer you think is correct, then that's how you study. We found that our second problem was with kids not wanting to study was they just get bored along with the trampoline. So this is what we came up with. And to solve that solution, to solve that problem, we just decided to come up with a homework jamboree. This, this homework jamboree will include fun games to help kids study and do their homework. It, it includes math ball, history ball, learning around the world, and duck duck study. If kids were more entertained while doing their schoolwork, they'd be more more motivated to the, to do their work. Up on the board, you see that there are a group of teenagers studying, and then there are a group of elementary schoolers playing duck duck study, and then there is a classroom set up to play math ball. Our third problem is that kids just don't want to do their work. Like, they just flat out don't want to do it. So our third idea was to offer snacks and rewards to the kids. This way, they'd be motivated to get the job done and done well. Up on the board we have some examples of cookies and rewards like at our own Georgetown Middle School we have Bobcat Best where you get a ticket every time you do something good and you can turn it in for prizes. And um, in the seventh grade on 18, Miss Lingo passes out Lingo Loot and each day if you get 10 points on her board, you, I mean, one of the tickets get drawn and if your name is on the ticket you get pop or chips or any other prizes. If kids were more motivated, they'd want to do the work. Changes you can do. Talk to your child or parent about your or their teacher. Parents, try to make your child's homework fun. If kids actually do their work, life will go so much easier. And there are plenty of other things you can do to help. Remember, there are many more things that you can do. And education is one of the main goals in life. Thank you. Thank you for coming.